Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I want to talk about how we can link our timeline to the object manager. Um, but before I go into exactly what that means, um, let's talk about the scene quickly. Anyone that watched my previous quick tip on baking keyframes down will be familiar with this scene. But the long and short of it is that basically I've got a load of shapes in this folder here that are animated. Um, and that's pretty inconsequential to this quick tip, but the important thing is all of these have got keyframes. So if I click on these, we can see our, um, you know, we can see the time tracks. Okay, so let's go through what um, I mean by linking our timeline to the object manager. So here in our object manager, you'll see that if I click on cube zero, it's also selected in my viewport and th that is normal behavior we'd expect to see that and if i click on anything in the viewport we also see it getting selected in the object manager as well if you look off to the right there so what about our timeline okay so let's uh, go to window let's open up the, our dope sheet and we can see the tracks for all our objects here if you don't see this um, it's because you haven't got automatic mode checked on so if you go to view and if I click automatic mode here, you'll see that there's nothing in there. And that means that anything animated you actually have to drag into the timeline. So if you're seeing something like this, which you shouldn't be because automatic mode is the default, or, or at least it is in R21, um, go down and click on automatic mode and all your uh, animated objects will be in this list. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go through this. If I click on uh, my objects like this box and this sphere, you see over here that they're being highlighted when I do that. So there's cube underscore one underscore one and there's uh, sphere underscore one underscore three. But you'll notice that those objects are not being selected in our timeline, which is um, rather annoying. Now, in R21, that behavior is actually um, on by default, but I think older versions of Cinema 4D, you will be seeing this kind of behavior. Um, so what we need to do to actually make sure that all three of these things are tied together is go to view, link, and then you'll see link tl slash om selection. And now, if I make a selection in the viewport, not only is it selected here, but it's also selected in our timeline. And if I select this cube, you can see that our cube is a uh, selected it seems to be there's two there that are getting selected let's have a look oh there we go yeah so we've got our sphere that's now highlighted and our cube is also now highlighted but it doesn't work the other way around so if i choose the sphere in our timeline you can see that it's not being selected in our viewport and it's certainly not being selected here either i can click around in here all day and nothing will be happening. Now in R21, this is the um, default behavior. So you'll click something in here and it will be selected in the timeline. You click something here and it will also be selected in the timeline, but just not the other way around. And the reason for that is we need to go to view, go to link, and we need to turn off this one directional selection linking. So if we unselect that now, we can see that when we select items in our dope sheet in our timeline that they get selected in our view and they get selected in the object manager. So that's just something that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, one more point before I go as well. We've also got um, this option down here that says link view to object manager. So if you're in a situation where you just want to isolate um, the objects that you're trying to deal with when selected in here, say you've got this cube selected and you want to deal with its position keys or something like that but yeah let's just wrap this up we can actually turn this on to clean up this timeline view a little bit so let's go to view let's go to link and link view to object manager now when we select something in here you'll see that the name here is sphere one three and when i select something else we get all the keys for this object here similarly if we select something in the object manager as well cube zero is now listed and if we click cube one 
is just that in there. So we can clean things up and um, just work with the objects that we've got selected. I prefer not to use that myself, so I'm going to turn this off. But yeah, I just thought that was a nice little uh, tip for you guys, and I hope it helped. Bye-bye. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk, where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.